the things that's important to understand about BIM or building information modeling is that the word building is really referencing the verb of constructing anything within the context and the environment. In the same way that our architects use BIM processes to model everything on the inside of a facility, we're modeling everything on the outside. By using a BIM model, we can better understand the utility networks underground that you can't necessarily see, and therefore it allows a civil engineer to provide um, more accurate or more enhanced design of those said utilities. We're able to work with GIS professionals and data to create a model of an entire city. This means that we're looking at the context of the project, not just as a single property, but what it means to the entire built environment, the community around it. So we're able to provide a much more familiar perspective to the client and to the community than they would see on a black and white paper sheet. In the old days, we used to uh, create our plans based on things that were hand-drawn or CAD-drawn, you know, the, the elevations and profiles and, and plan views were drawn separate from each other. They didn't necessarily match. You'd have so many versions of these paper plans, you'd never know which one was the latest version. Sometimes you're not even aware that there was a later version. What we can do is we can mine GIS databases and build and visualize a model based on that historical data. What the BIM model does is it enables us to create a three-dimensional representation. When there's a conflict or something you need to work around, a special structure that you need to build in order to make something work, it's there. You can see it, you can show it to them, you can spin around all different directions. In the same way that we can model an entire city, we can use LiDAR surveying, which allows us to model even the smallest details. So with traditional surveying, we would go out and collect a single point for each object, whether it was a sign or a tree, and with LiDAR, we're collecting millions of points instantly. This means that we're able to go out there and capture everything we can physically see in the environment. We're creating a very rich model of everything that exists today with minimal effort in terms of production. This information exists and we've developed BIM processes that allow us to take that information and provide it in these large three-dimensional models with a lot of really, really good data embedded into those models. As a person that lives in a community, they're not necessarily going to fully understand, say, engineering plans or a 2D picture. By utilizing uh, the BIM models, we can provide 3D picture so they can better visualize where exactly, say, for instance, that pipeline or that road or that building or facility is actually going to go and how that's going to affect their daily lives.